Dawn of the Mummy, 1981, directed by Frank Agrama, starring Brenda King, Barry Saddles, and George Peck. A photographer and some models arrive in Egypt for a photo shoot, where a cursed pharaoh's tomb is opened and carnage begins. Mummies hold a very special place in the horror universe. Based on a real-life phenomenon, the well-preserved remains really do look like they could open their eyes and rise from their graves at exhibitions at any moment. I ran into a major problem with mummy films, though, when I started putting my library of obscure titles together. There just aren't that many mummy films out there. Unlike most other creatures in horror, the mummy film formula has been seldom deviated upon, which has led to more films following the 1933 film's plot directly than I'm honestly interested in. But Andres, you might be saying, everything from vampires to slasher films is similar to a degree. To which I'd reply, yes, but we're talking about the exact same plot. There's some explorers, they venture into a tomb, disturb the mummy, shenanigans ensue. So how did the producers put their own spin on the formula? By making a zombie film that takes place in Egypt, which I was not expecting at all. And not just any zombie film. We're talking about an American-Italian production. For those who don't know, the Italians really made a name for themselves with the zombie genre in the 70s and 80s. Italian studios were infamous for ripping off whatever popular film trends were going on in Hollywood, from Mad Max to Star Wars. And when George Romero's Dawn of the Dead became a massive hit, the stars aligned and Italian studios went through a horror renaissance at the hands of directors like Lucio Fulci and Umberto Lenzi. The makeup effects were handled by Maurizio Trani, who worked on multiple notable Fulci productions including Zombie and House by the Cemetery. I have a sneaking suspicion he had less of a budget to work with on this one though, as his work here is way clunkier. The film successfully executes a premise shift as impressively as From Dusk Till Dawn, with the first half of the film really acting like your standard mummy film before all hell breaks loose. Shuki Levy wrote the music for the film, if the name sounds familiar, he's written the theme for everything from Inspector Gadget to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. There aren't any standout performances from the cast, but people overact hilariously in this film, and it's almost an art form. Verdict recommended. An 80s horror romp in ancient Egypt that definitely deserves a look. That concludes this week's review. Is there any obscure sci-fi horror film you'd like to suggest? Feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.